Hi and welcome to Taxi Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to learn about Shadow DOM. Uh, before we go into detail, uh, let's look at the issue with CSS today uh, and why we need Shadow DOM. Let's say I have a page um, uh, with some, you know, some div here and it has a class X and some text. Then in CSS, I'm coloring the font to be read using this the class. So when I render it, it renders the, the code to be read. Now let's say if I'm using a third party tool somewhere uh, and I'm including it and they don't know uh, about my code and I don't know about their code. And let's say they also have a class X, uh, but in their library, the color of the, uh, the font color uh, defined in the of class X is let's say green. So when I, when you render it, uh, both my code and their code would become green. And this is a fundamental problem because CSS rules are applied globally, which means uh, it will find the class X everywhere in the, the dome and it would color it green, which could be become a problem. Now, you know that you can, you can uh, add another class, you can, there, there are other methods to solve this issue, but we should not be solving it this way. Uh, we should be able to have some local scoping. There should be a, there should be a solution which creates boundary between my code and what other people wrote, and where that's where the shadow dome comes in the picture. Shadow dome is a separate dome tree of elements that you can create, uh, which is not the part of the main document dome, but when you render it behaves like it's a part of the, your uh, main document dome. Uh, so that is very cool. So, so creating of Shadow Dome is very easy. Uh, the feature was added uh, to most of the browser uh, about a couple of years ago. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create an element where uh, we will insert our Shadow Dome. So uh, here's an element with ID Shadow Host. So this is what, what we're gonna call a Shadow Host. Uh, this hosts the uh, the shadow shadow uh, do dome. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna access this uh, this element using uh, document query selector. And next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use this uh, element host to create our shadow root under which the shadow dome would lie. So um, you can uh, create this shadow root this will create our shadow root. Now that we create the shadow root we're gonna add some elements to it. So we're gonna create an element of our div equal to div so this so this would be a div and we can say div dot text content equal to can you see me now um, and we can append this uh, div to the shadow root using and child div. So when I render it, I can see the, uh, now when I render it, I can see that that element is being rendered. However, if you notice this hello is not being rendered. Now let's say if I add uh, a class here to the div element, I can say uh, class name equal to x. Uh, and I can style this X with uh, color red. And if I render this, uh, it won't render red. And now if I, to, to make sure that it, it does really should render, I can, I can create another element outside uh, here um, with the same class name. And I'm gonna put the text here, outer element. So 
we can differentiate. Now if I render this, Uh, instead of uh, ID, I should use class since it's a dot. So if I render this, I can see the outer element is rendering red, but the element inside the shadow dome is not. So it's not affecting the um, the element inside the shadow dome. There is a way to actually style um, what's inside the shadow dome. Uh, we'll cover that later. Uh, but first, let's look at the uh, the inspect element and see what's going on inside. In order to do that, first you have to do uh, is uh, uh, go to the right side here. If you're using Chrome, um, go to the settings, and in the settings, uh, go to the general tab, and within the general tab, uh, you would find the uh, area where element uh, properties defined. And here, you need to activate uh, show user agent shadow DOM. Uh, when you do that, uh, here in the in the H in the HTML area. Uh, if you uh, go to the the element uh, the shadow dome element you can you can see following uh, under the shadow host uh, you would see something like a pound sign uh, shadow dash root uh, under which you can see the the elements um, of the shadow dome if I open this I can see that div and I can see the class X uh, that I just added um, and can you see me now now here in this example, we just edited one element to the shadow root and you have a three lines of JavaScript code. Um, if you have a much longer uh, HTML, there should be a better way of inserting this HTML. So for that, we can look at this example. So here in this example, uh, instead of creating elements directly in using JavaScript, uh, I'm gonna create a template. I'm gonna create a template element inside the, the main document dome. Um, so if you look at this example, I have this template element, uh, which has its own style and has its own uh, element inside. And what I'm gonna do is when I when I create a shadow root, uh, I'm gonna append the, the template element inside the, the shadow root. Now, uh, now remember, template elements are special elements in HTML uh, which doesn't render so if you see a, a template element that part will be displayed uh, in the HTML uh, to, to look at it if I just uh, uh, delete all this code and if I run this I would just simply say hello and not the rest of the template uh, def what's defined inside the template so uh, that's really nice now I can use that template and insert into the shadow. Uh, so this is a much better way of inserting elements into Shadow Dome. So in the next tutorial, we will cover some advanced topics on uh, Shadow Dome, uh, such as uh, creating pseudo elements, um, how to separate the uh, CSS files uh, for uh, for particular shadow, how to apply uh, CSS across all the Shadow Domes. Um, and some use cases. Uh, you can go to the next tutorial by clicking a link uh, down here or uh, at the end of the uh, this tutorial. And please, um, if you really learn something from this tutorial, like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. Thank you. Hope you have learned something from this tutorial. If you did, then please uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe the channel, like the video, and provide some constructive comment or question if you have.